bad grade. I'll tell you two stories here. I had a player at Fresno State named Scott Thompson and he took a course named Physiology of Exercise. And in this course, he got a D on the first test. He got a 20 out of 100 and then of course there were three tests. Well, what happened is, is instead of giving up on the class, what he did is he took the notes from the class and he went and found himself a tutor that could explain him the notes. And he went to the teacher and asked how could he better prepare for the next test. And what he did in this class where there again were going to be three tests is he battled back and he came back and he made an 80 on the second test. So take his 20 on the first test and his 80 on the second test and what's that add up to? It adds up to 100 and divide that by 2 he's got a 50 average. So he's still basically getting an F in the course by 10 points. He battles again, keeps working with the tutor, and comes back and gets another 80 on the final exam. So now he has 180 points on three tests. So 180 divided by three is 60. Scott Thompson passed physiology of exercise with a D. And as I told him, I've never been more proud of a D in my entire life. Because again, the grade didn't reflect the effort. But the grade did show his actual performance. Let me give you another example. I had another uh, student that was taking a history course, and in this course there were also three tests. How did he overcome a bad grade? Well, if you're doing the little extra things, if you're sitting up front, if you're slanting, if you're turning your work in on time, if you're consistently communicating with the professor, you are going to have the ability to negotiate. Just go in and negotiate with the professor or the teacher. One of these students got a similar low grade, got like a 20 out of 100 on the first test. He came back on the second test and made like a 90. So what he did is he went to the professor and he said, Sir, you know I got a 20 on the first test and I got over a 90 on the second test. Now one of those two tests is a real reflection of me and I think it's the 90. Would you give me the opportunity to take the third test for grade? Meaning if I do like a 90 type work on the third test, you give me the A. And if I do 20 type work on the third test, you give me an F. And you know what? The teacher went for it. And why did the teacher go for that? Because what happened is the student had been doing the little things well all the way along. And sure enough, he made over a 90 on the last test, and so the teacher graciously dropped the lowest test score, even though that wasn't in the policy. Because why? Because the, he was the definition of a good student. He was somebody who tried.